Hello, today we're going to talk about creating a connect script for my SQL database in PHP. So the first thing to understand is that uh, this is a pretty straightforward process. There are several different ways you can do it. We're going to be using the MySQLi connect, that function. Notice the I, just saying that because there is a whole bunch of stuff out there. There's always, there's without the I and they are not compatible. So this is the one that you probably want to use. There's also PDO, which we're not talking about today. I will talk about that later. This is the procedural way of connecting to a database. So here's the syntax, basically that little line right there. So the function is called MySQLi underscore connect. It takes four parameters or arguments. That is the host. That is the username, that is a password, and that is the name of the database. You need to know those four things, and if you know those four things, then you can go ahead and write a connect script. So let's go have a look at an actual connect script. So I've kind of already written it out. My uh, arm is in a sling, so I can't write real well. Anyway, so the kind of the, the procedure is you create a variable. In the other example, they were calling it something else. Sometimes they'll call this con. Uh, oftentimes I call it DBC. It's just short for database connection. You can call it whatever you want. And I set it equal to whatever this function returns. So that function is MySQLi underscore connect. Uh, what you're going to want to do, depending how th things are set up, but there's a good chance you're going to want to put localhost as the first argument. Now, so I've got this set up for XAMPP. And so I can't tell you what you've got set up on your remote web, uh, host, but I can tell you that in XAMPP, by default, there's a user called root with a password that's empty. And this is the name of your database. I have no idea what the name of your database is. Uh, maybe you haven't created a database. I don't know. That's up to you. You'll need to check with your web host or check with uh, check out your uh, XAMPP installation. So localhost, username, password, and name of the database. Um, so on XAMPP, I can tell you that those first three things will be set up like that initially. It's up to you to create the database. And then this part here, or die, this is optional. Now the reason you do this is that sometimes this will fail, right? If you put in bad arguments here, then no, nothing's going to happen. Uh, but if you put in an or die statement, so in the event that this is unsuccessful, this will happen. It'll say bad connect. And then I concatenate it on this function called MySQLi underscore connect underscore error. This is optional, but what this does is this gives you a little bit of information about why uh, your connection didn't work. So let me show you how this works. It's not exciting, but I'll show you some of the finer points. So I save and let me run this script and nothing happens. And now that's that's really not satisfying, right? You just wrote your first connect script, I think it works, and nothing happens. So one thing I like to show people when they're learning is right below this whole business of connecting, I just like to echo out something like success. Now the way that die works, so this is an or. Either this is gonna happen or this is gonna happen. So if this happens, then this won't happen. But if this doesn't happen, then this will happen. And die means crash right here, do not go to the next line, just spit out an error message. So if you put a, a, a simple echo below the die, well, that will just let you know that it did in fact work. I'm telling you that if you get no error messages, it worked, but there's the proof. Um, I'll show you something bad. It's so like, let's say I wanna do something silly like uh, some garbage password that doesn't work. Now if I refresh, I'll show you what that looks like. You'll notice I don't get that success message, and I get this kind of big string of gibberish. This is the die. Notice that die uh, contains some decent information in it, so bad connect, because I wrote that, and that's that what that uh, function returned. Sometimes, so you don't need to have this function in here, but sometimes it's hard to figure out why you can't connect to your database, and, and that function right there is uh, helpful. Without that, I'll show you, you get the somewhat more cryptic message that looks a lot like uh, like that. And sometimes that's useful, sometimes that's not really useful. Um, some of the most frustrating issues I've ever had and had, that I've seen people have with uh, working with uh, MySQL and PHP is, is a bad connect script. It's just, it's just kind of hard to keep things straight. So that's a uh, that right there is a little, something that you could Google that might tell you a little bit about what's wrong. And, and notice that, see that little additional actually readable text that used to be there? It's not there because I got rid of that uh, piece. So that's uh, what I can tell you about connect scripts. Now one thing that you might be thinking is that seems weird to just be blasting a username and a password. 
And it is to have that just staring you right in the face. So one of the things that you should do with your Connect script is you should secure it. And what that means is not having this sitting in a public directory, but up in a, in a protected directory. And in another video, I will show you how to do that. But this is everything that I can tell you about a Connect script. So we talked a little bit about how to debug it, how to improve the formatting of the output. But at, at its core, a Connect script is literally just that. The problem is, right, if you just have that connect script and I run it, I'll say it fails, all, all I get is that. Always better to have something, some, some actual formatted output for when it fails. So that is connect script. This video is certainly aimed more at uh, understanding it better as opposed to just putting one together. So hopefully this helps you to better understand what's happening with the connect script. Thanks for watching.